mean, what's it been like to actually work on the field with these guys in a, an official capacity? Oh, it's been really good working on the field with these guys. These guys really work hard. It's been a good foundation set even before I got here, the standard, the way, the way which guys work. So it's been really good. You know, to have great leadership, you know, like Melo and Kobe, uh, that really also helps. You know, they're like having two extra coaches on the field, and they're doing a good job of pouring into the young guys. And so those guys' game is really rising also. So it's, it's been a lot of fun, and the, all those guys are great to work with. So it's been great. Now that you are working with them on the field, is there anything that surprised you that you didn't know before you got an opportunity like this to work with them more hands-on? Um, just to know them just personally, how they, how they uh, operate, you know, the level which they work. And like I said, the biggest thing that surprised me is just the leadership that they have, you know, and making sure that their teammates aren't left behind, that they're able to, uh, they're leaving a legacy here, which is great, you know, and so that's been really good. I've been able to kind of step aside sometimes and kind of let them coach and kind of pour in all the knowledge that they have in the people. So that's been uh, really good. And that's been a surprising thing, just how great of leaders those two guys are. DK, everybody knows about Melo and Kobe. What are you seeing from the group behind them? There's a lot of great guys behind them. There's a lot of talent here. You know, we got some new guys that kind of showed up, uh, like Jalen Todd. You know, as a young guy who's really showing up, um, you know, we got uh, Jacoby, you know, Davis is doing a great job, um, you know, just a lot of other guys. And, and you still got your older guys, too, uh, that are still, you know, doing a good job. You know, Queso Demarius is really doing a good job. BJ has really come along and taken a step also. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of great competition for those guys who are behind them. And those guys who can step in, you know, God forbid if something happens to our, our, our two superstars. With Jalen, for an early enrollee period, like what are the things you want to work on with someone like that that is just in kind of their first college practices in general? You know, the good thing about Jalen is he, he loves football. So it's, it's not that hard when a young man loves football. Um, he's very smart. Uh, he's kind of an edge of the seat guy, you know, taking in all the knowledge that he has. The things you just want to clean up is just pad level. Um, you want to clean up his eyes, make sure he's looking at the right stuff, not just staring at the quarterback. And then you just want to clean up just his, his knowledge of football. And a uh, smarter football player is a better football player. And so you're just trying to get him to become smarter and smarter. I'm sure he will because, like I said, he loves football and he really works really hard at it uh, off the field also. Jamil was someone that we heard about a little bit last year. Just what have you seen from him early on during spring? Uh, you're seeing a guy with uh, a lot of talent, immense talent. Uh, he has the size. He has the attributes that you look for in the corner. And uh, now, just like Jalen, he's starting to get the mental side down, which is really good. And he's starting to communicate. And now his mental side is not just starting to catch up with his physical side. And that's really exciting to see. And like I said, there's just going to be a lot of competition from all those guys to kind of see who kind of separates himself from the group. And for you guys as like a defensive staff, is there any big points of emphasis that you want to hit home to the players during spring ball? Yeah, the biggest thing is just always, you know, just being a dark side defense, just making sure that we're aligned the sign, that we're doing the little things right, that we're giving tremendous effort, and that we're finishing every play. So just the basic stuff that you want to make sure you're doing in the spring. Spring is a great opportunity for us to learn the defense, and that's what we're just trying to do. We're trying to get everybody just to learn this defense. And when we get to the fall, we're going to have to learn people's offense and mix that in with our defense. So this is just a great opportunity for guys to learn the defense, kind of show what they are, build some depth, uh, have the guys who are our superstars, you know, our A players got to get A's, and that's what they're doing so far, which is exciting.